maybe a fish will attack me or something. I don't know. I hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> I've had enough of that. <laughs>
<laughs> Would you stop at the Painted Cliffs Resteria? Oh, Painted Cliffs Resteria. Which is one of my favorite rest areas. I'm at the Blue Water Lake State Park in my, my campsite and I just cooked spaghetti for dinner. There's the messy dishes that I haven't done yet. <laughs> and I have leftover spaghetti that I put in freezer bags in the freezer. So I'll be having spaghetti again sometime in the near future. I just wanted to show you my campsite. It's really pretty here, and oh, it feels so good outside. It's pretty hot in the van because I cooked in there. Well, I should have cooked outside, but there's a little breeze going here. And, uh, I've got trees, shade, shade in the afternoon, and probably shade in the morning, too. And... We've got a little picnic table here, so I'm going to put you on the picnic table. The, the sun's still peeking over the top of my bed here. It's trying to poke me in the eye. So, Blue Water Lake is a place that I used to go to when I was a kid with my parents who loved to fish and my sister and I <clears throat> remember going fishing with them several different places but I believe the one that was Blue Water Lake we probably went more than one time but I remember it was really 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 cold but my sister and I didn't really care because we were having fun playing on the rocks and playing at the edge of the lake and catching crawdads. The lake has a lot of crawdads. At least it used to. I don't know if it still does. I'll find out. So, my parents uh, both died in 2007. Three weeks apart. And... I have been carrying around a little tin of each of their ashes all these years trying to figure out what to do with that ashes and I think Blue Water Lake is where they need to be sprinkled. So um, it's kind of late now. Um, I think I'll wait until tomorrow and go hack around a little bit and see if I can find a good place to do that and I'll bring you guys along 
and I'm not sure how exciting that will be for you to watch me sprinkle my parents' ashes in the Blue Water Lake, but eh, who knows? Maybe a fish will attack me or something. I don't know. I hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> I've had enough of that. So, um, that kind of reminds me, back in 2004, I was just getting into photography. I had a, bought a Nikon D70. It's the, the first digital SLR camera that I ever had. And I drove up to the Smoky Mountains and was on the bypass that goes around uh, Gatlinburg. And I pulled over on a uh, one of those little parking areas, the uh, over, uh, overlook area, where they have a lot of parking there and you can get out of your car and go walk around and look down at Gatlinburg. So I had my camera out and I was taking photographs of Gatlinburg from up on top of the mountain. And all of a sudden I got a face full of ashes. <laughs> The mouthful of ashes all over my camera lens, just ashes blowing into my face. And I sputtered and couldn't figure out what it was at first. And then I turned around and looked, or turned to the side and looked. And there was a family standing at the edge of the overlook, throwing their loved one's ashes into the wind. And I don't think they saw it, but I think they would have been kind of disappointed to know that their loved one's ashes went into my mouth and eventually got cleaned off with my camera. So anyway, I swore that when I sprinkled my parents' ashes, I would not let the wind blow it into anybody's face. I hope it just goes into the Okay, well, I'm probably going to go watch YouTube or watch a movie or something. Uh, <clears throat> it's very nice out here, though. I might have to sit outside for a while. And the sky is pretty clear. I bet uh, there will be stars tonight. So, anyway, I left uh, Snowflake this morning. And, you know, I've been there for two months. And I've been hanging out with Bob every night. We... I cook dinner for him, and he comes over and we watch a movie, or we'll watch YouTube, or we watch um, a series. Right now, we're, we're watching Ray Donovan, and um, I guess we'll have to finish that when I come back after the summer, because it's too hot in Snowflake. It feels pretty good right here, but it's going to be getting hot here, too, so I don't know if I'll make it the whole two weeks of my reservation. And then I'll be heading up into the mountains uh, near Colorado, about an hour south of Colorado, Cimarron Canyon. And uh, it should be nice and cool up there. And I got some other places that I've got booked. I don't like to book reservations because my plans never, I, ne I never stay the whole time. I either get tired of it or the weather changes and gets too hot or too cold or whatever. So we'll see what happens now. And I may, if I start missing Bob, I may <clears throat> book it back to Snowflake and run my generator all day long so I can run the air conditioner. <laughs> it's, not, it's not very fun and it's expensive. I use about I was there three days this week with really hot weather where I couldn't keep the doors open and uh, just run the fan. And uh, I think I used 60% of my propane just for three days of running the air conditioner. So it's not the best. So anyway, uh, we'll catch up with you in the morning and I get to use my new backpack and my new walking sticks. And, uh, yeah, I know there's some, some trails around here, so I'll, I'll try some of the trails, too. But first thing I want to do is walk down to the lake. And I'll be taking those ashes with me just in case I find the right spot. Okay, well, we'll see you guys in the morning.
Hi. The sun is setting over Blue Water Lake. It's very cool out. Not cold, cool, but comfortable cool. And there's a breeze. Mm -hmm.